Okay, here's a problem related to starting a computer. I just powered on the computer and it displays this message and an operating system wasn't found. Try disconnecting any drives that don't contain an operating system and press Ctrl Delete to restart. Okay, so this computer has one, two, three and four hard drives in it and the operating system is on this one, the third one but the computer is not starting from that one ok first of all as it says press ctrl alt and delete to restart the computer and then we will enter BIOS so on the keyboard ctrl alt and delete and then I will press delete to enter BIOS so ctrl alt and delete everything disappeared from the monitor and now press delete until it will enter BIOS this BIOS is not too fast so I have to wait and meanwhile press that delete button okay after you enter the BIOS uh, if you don't see these three plus three tabs there then go up there to where it says easy mode easy mode and advanced mode okay and go here to settings with the mouse then go here to boot boot okay and boot mode we have click on it we have UFI and legacy plus UFI I'm going to use legacy plus UFI okay and boot option the number one it is UFI hard disk and that is not good so click on the first one and instead of UFI hard disk select one which says only hard disk so click on the hard disk okay then we need to select which of the hard disks out of those four so scroll down to this one hard disk drive BBS priorities go to that one and here are the four hard disks that we have in this computer and let's click on the first one and my windows is installed onto this drive the Kingston which is the second in this list so after clicking on that one the order will be reversed here and the Kingston will be the first one currently the light on is the first and Kingston is the second so enter the first one and choose the Kingston okay and now the first boot option is the Kingston drive and then it should work if we go using these arrows out then even here we can see kin king from kingston that is the first boot first boot option okay and that's it you can click on the x up here in the upper right corner to exit these are the changes that we just did and click on yes to save it now the computer should restart and it should boot from the correct hard drive which in this case is this one so we have one two three and four discs so let's wait to see yes it is booting from the correct hard drive and we know it's starting